I get this question very often. Oh my God, I have a deja vu with this question, but moving on. Why I am not speaking in Romanian if I am Romanian and why I'm doing my content in English? So here are my reasons why and all have to do with my future plans. First, because I want to get better at it. And I cannot be better at something if I'm not practicing. So this is, let's call it, my practice ground when it comes to expressing myself in English. It is way easier like this, it is way faster like this because it's more public and it makes me more conscious about the fact that more people are actually listening to what I have to say and what I am saying and how I am saying it. The second reason is that all my research is in English already, so why not presenting the facts and presenting what I've learned the same way I've learned it. The third reason uh, might be triggering for some people because I wanted to make my content in English because I wanted to make it international, not to be limited by a language that is spoken in only two countries, when I can speak in a language that is international and spoken globally. So why should I limit myself? The fourth reason is the fact that I want to have my own fashion brand one day and it will be international and everything about my brand it will be in English because I want it to be international so why not till then build a following, build a fan base if you want to call it with international fans in the, and international people with international future buyers and have everything from the beginning in English because I want my brand to also be international. Why losing time on building a fan base in Romania, in Romanian, when my plan is to go international? It doesn't make sense for my future plans to do that. For the fifth reason, I think it's the fifth reason. I, I already lost count. So for the next reason would be the fashion scene in Romania is limited to say the least. There is just a bunch of so-called experts and um, they don't have the international flavors and the an international appeal that I am looking for when it comes to my own brand and my own designs. So as a fashion designer I wanted to go beyond that. I want to do so much more. And I will do so much more and I can do that if I'm not limiting myself to just the Romanian language when it comes to my content and presenting my work to just the Romanian public. So in order to do that, I have to speak a language that is understood by more people and people who are actually interested in what I'm doing. Which also brings me to the next point. For about two years, I tried really hard to not just integrate, but to make myself known in the fashion industry in Romania, okay? I was never taken seriously. I was never given a chance. Actually, I was taken advantage of in multiple situations by these so-called experts, and I have stories about that if you wanna know but not in this video. So let me know in the comments if you want uh, some drama. After I've given up on putting myself in places where I feel like I don't belong, when I f where I feel like people don't listen and don't even want to understand what I'm doing and don't even want to look to what I'm doing, I had an idea. And my idea was to change all that I'm doing on Instagram to English. And I had so many opportunities open up just because my content was in English and not just in Romanian. You, you cannot even imagine. I had organizers from multiple shows in UK contacting, contact, contacting me uh, to go to showcase my works in their shows. I had photographers telling me that they would like to take pictures of my works and would love to collaborate on editorials. And they were from outside of Romania. I had the opportunity to talk to people who appreciate my work and are just admirers of fashion, just because they understood my work, because 
everything was in English. That was the moment that I realized that having my content in English will open way more doors for me because I'm exposing myself to a lot more people that would actually love and understand what I'm doing because they are putting in the minimum work which is listen and look not just ignore me because I'm a small designer from Romania and I don't have that much uh, money to go around um, and pay the so-called experts in order to uh, be part of their shows. It was eye-opening, so I've decided three, maybe four years ago to do that. And I'm doing that ever since and the opportunities just are coming and coming and coming because they are understanding what I am saying because it is in a language that they actually understand. So these are my reasons why I'm doing all my content in English and not Romanian. If you got this far in the video, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. And let me know in the comments what other questions do you have for me regarding anything. And don't forget to follow for more fashion related content.